In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can create a simple t-shirt mock-up design using Affinity Designer. And to show you what I mean here, I've created my own red design with my own logo on top of this. I could disable this layer right here and you can see we start off with this blank shirt right here and we end up with this result right here. So in order to follow along with what I'm doing, you'll need to download a copy of this blank t-shirt. I will have that linked in the description of the video. So go ahead and download that and paste it as a new document in Affinity Designer and we will be good to get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is paste some kind of design element on top of my shirt here that I would like to be mocked up onto it. So in another tab over here, I have my logo opened. I'm just going to copy it and then come over here and paste it into Affinity Designer. And with that pasted, I'm just going to scale this down a little bit just so it fits nicely into the shirt here. And to make this design look like it is printed onto the shirt, all you have to do is come over here to the layers menu and change its blend mode to multiply. And if I deselect it, I could, I could zoom in and you could see the effect here. Just like that, it looks like it's part of the shirt. And if you zoom out, it looks even better. Now, if you want to make this look even more realistic, I would recommend removing some saturation from the color to make it look more like a photograph. And there you go. That right there already looks a lot better. Now let's go over how you can change the color of the shirt itself. So to do that, I'm going to create a new pixel based layer. I'm going to come down here to the layers menu and click this button right here that says add pixel layer. And then I'm going to come over here into my pixel persona and I'm going to grab the bucket fill tool and I'm going to fill the layer in with whatever color I'd like the shirt to be. So I'm going to choose this red color here to start off with and I'm going to fill that area in and now we have this entire layer filled in with the color red. Now I will change the blend mode to darken and you can see now we have a red shirt there but we also have a red background. So let's remove that red background from the image here. To do this I'm going to select the shirt layer right here and I'm going to hold the command key or if you're using Windows it would be the control key. I'm going to hold that key and then click the layer thumbnail and when you do that you're going to notice we have the marching ants going around the shirt here to indicate the selection. And now I just want to invert this selection. So I'll come up here to where it says select and I will go to invert pixel selection and now I will select my pixel layer with the fill up here and press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And now we can remove the selection by going to select and choosing deselect. Now let's make some edits to the logo on the shirt here because we, as you can see we've lost the appearance of this here. So I'm going to select my logo. Let me come back into the designer persona and I'm going to make this white. Now if you notice you can't see it anymore and that's because the pixel layer is overlaying on top of the logo. We're going to change that by deleting this logo area from the pixel layer. So let's come back into the pixel persona. I'm going to hold command again or control if you're a Windows user and click on this thumbnail right here. Click on that thumbnail icon to create a selection around your graphic and then select the pixel layer and press delete on your keyboard to get rid of that area. And just like that we've removed that area from the pixel layer and now it looks like it's part of the shirt again. So let me go to select, deselect. So at this point we're pretty much finished but if you want we can make some additional adjustments just to bring this to life a little more. For one I'm going to select the image layer over here with the t-shirt and I'm going to add a, an adjustment layer. I'm going to add a brightness and contrast adjustment and let me bring that menu into the proper screen here. There we go. And I'm going to bring down the contrast a little bit and you can see as I do that you can see more of the details on the shirt there. It looks more realistic. And I can do the same thing again. I'm going to select the layer and this time I'll add a levels adjustment. And I'm going to take the gamma and I'm going to play with that a little bit until we see even more details in the shirt. And again, it looks, the shirt just looks more realistic. It looks more photorealistic when we do this. So let me close out of that. And finally, if you want to change the color of the shirt so you can take this image and make multiple copies in several different colors, all you have to do is select the pixel layer and then add a recolor adjustment layer right here. Choose recolor. And you could just take this hue slider and change it to pick whatever color you'd like. So if I want my shirt to be Instead of red, if I want it to be pink, I could just choose that shade like that. And you can even adjust the lightness and saturation over here if you'd like to, although it looks pretty good by default. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can create simple t-shirt mockups using Affinity Designer. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.